good morning today i am going to explain the physics behind digitalization digitalization refers to converting text voice pictures into zeros and ones if i say hello how are you inside the computer it is stored as combination of zeros and ones similarly if i keep a picture inside the computer the picture also in the form of zeros and ones this way of converting text picture voice everything into zeros and ones is called digitalization here we call these zeros and ones as binary digits and in short bits first two letters and last two letters so sound is a form of wave this wave let us take a wave like this which is a part of a sound now i consider the wave at different time intervals technically called periods at this beginning the amplitude of the sound is 6.5 units after t seconds the sound wave decreases amplitude of the wave decreases and now the amplitude is 3.3 units and goes on at different periods of intervals these numbers 6.5 can be quantized which means which is almost rounded off this 6.5 rounded becomes 7 similarly 3.3 rounded to the nearest digit is 3 and all other digits are also rounded off to nearest figures now the 7 can be converted to 111 that is decimal form of 7 can be converted to 111 that is the digital form so the sound wave a piece of a sound wave is now in the form of zeros and ones like this this is what you mean by digitalization then you will have a doubt now how we get back the sound now this is a digital form of the sound and this digital form of the sound can be converted to a wave like this for example 111 continuously the waveform is at 1 then 011 now the wave drops to 0 and again it is there in 11 high level and the low level so the from the digital form we get a waveform which is a digital signal and this digital signal can be decoded and once again with the electronic process this digital signal is converted to a wave and that is our original sound wave now you understand how we can convert a sound into zeros and ones this is a complete picture a sound clip which is converted to which is quantized and converted to zeros and ones from zeros and ones we get back the digital signal using a process of decoding now we see how digitization helps in magnetic storage as you see this is a picture of a hot disk and in a hot disk we have different suppose if you take a small piece of a hot disk which is made up of magnetic material let us say there is a small magnetic coating is there as a physics students they understand that when current passing through a coil it creates a magnetic field when this electromagnet is at this point the current for successive bands like this the current passing in the same direction so these two bands are magnetized in the same direction magnetized means you can assume there are small magnets tiny magnet magnetic particles these two bands the magnetic particles are in the same direction this indicate zero next two bands the orientation of the magnetic particles are in opposite directions 
this can be achieved by changing the direction of the current let us say when the current passing through in a clockwise direction magnetic orientation is like this when the same current passing in an anti clockwise direction the magnetic orientation could be like this so by some technical process we can make two successive bands which are opposite so the first two bands which are in same direction represent a zero the next two bands which are in opposite directions represent one the next two bands are once again in same direction it is not left to right or right to left whether two successive bands are in same or opposite directions that's what matters so this they are in same directions represent zero opposite directions represents one so this is a principle of storing zeros and ones or bits in a magnetic disk we are all familiar with uh, optical storage that is storage in a cd or dvd now let us try to understand how a cd works a cd is can be considered is made up of four layers the layer a is a polycarbonate disc polycarbonate is something a polymer which is used which is also used for making our water bottle so this is something like a polycarbonate disc which is having nearly 1.2 mm diameter just above this polymer you have a reflective layer a small aluminum disc over this to avoid oxidation there is a paint lacquer layer and over that we can also have a printing something artwork which indicates what the cd what is the film stored in this cd so a cd can be divided or can be considered into four parts a polycarbonate layer aluminum disc lacquer or oxidation just like a varnish and over this we have a printing now when infrared laser is sent at the time of writing what is happening a infrared laser is sent through this and here it makes a small hole when it is focused at that point it makes a small hole normally it is a flat surface when it is focused it makes a small hole so now at another point the laser may not be there absence of laser will leave the flat surface plain so we can consider the cd which is an optical disc made up of a small hole technically called pit and flat or land so pit and land they are used to represent zeros and ones for example at the time of reading the data laser beam goes and it is focused using a semi transparent mirror towards the cd and they are again focused at this point the light always a low density laser which is a light again is focused at this pit when light falls in the pit the light gets scattered into different directions if it falls in a flat surface it will be reflected backwards so pit will scatter the light in different direction the land will reflect the light in a backward direction so now what happens wherever there is a pit the light will not come in this direction here you have a photodiode absence of light nothing happens here so this indicate a zero state now in a land light is reflected and it comes in this direction it falls on a photodiode it indicates one state because when light falls on a photodiode some change will happen in a photo photodiode either change in voltage or change in resistance some physical phenomena let us not go into the detail so now we have land which represent one state pit which represent zero state so this is the principle of cd we are also using our uh, digital devices for storing the pictures right now we have a hero and the image of this hero inside the computer is again zeros and ones how is this happen the picture is made up of small elements called pixels picture elements otherwise pixels now if i magnify the face of this hero it will be something like this suppose if i magnify only this portion the picture will look like this are you i think i believe you are able to understand this is a spectacle 
and uh, now each and every dot on the picture represents is a pixel and that pixel represents some color combination based on the three basic colors red green and blue now this dot represents red the percentage of red gives a code and that is the digital signal so inside every pixel is converted to some form of zeros and ones that depends upon the red green blue content in the particular dot so that's the reason a picture will take large size because the image size the file size will be normally very large and uh, it also involves some basic physics of colors like red and green will give yellow red and blue gives magenta and green and blue gives cyan all the colors together becomes white so combination of all the colors is white so likewise using some of the physics principles we are able to get digital form that is digitalization physics is the backbone of all digitalization techniques